So, seeing that I don't like the tile around the bathtub that I use, and seeing that I cannot, not that I cannot, let me change that, seeing that I have not yet manifested the tub of my dreams into my life, I am going to attempt to refurbish this old tub. You see me? Yeah, I gotta redo some things. Sometimes you just gotta do it yourself. Oh, where is he at? I'm in Home Depot. <sighs> My boyfriend and I came for something totally different, but I ran up on this. It was just divine intervention because this wasn't even on my mind. Someone already stole something over here. I don't know why. <laughs> but safety threads, what's that? Ah, I already got a damn. This is pretty cool, let me tell you. So, stay tuned. We'll see how this goes. This shower is everything. It's all right, you know. I would tweak it with some different tiles. We need some assistance. Huh? So we look up I did this just from a one and a half inch pipe to see just the right side. This shower right here, though. Yes, with some like granite looking, yes, with these kind of tiles. So. so, I'm here with this tile grout comb pen. And I'm going to, this part have been refurbished. So, there's nothing wrong with refurbishing some stuff. Just make sure, you know, you know what you're doing. <laughs> As you can see, I don't know what I'm doing. But it's always trial and error, you know. So, let's get to it. Let's see what I'm going to do. I hope this is enough. I don't know. Maybe I should have gotten two now that I'm looking at it. We'll see. So, I lit a little sage and... I even cracked a window. Bam. I cracked a window, lit a sage, because, you know, chemicals, we don't need to be in hell. That's why we a little crazy now. Okay, so, put that out a little bit. It's a little strong. Coming out too much. Okay, so let's get to it with this towel grout coated pen. Oh, I got to put my face mask. I don't have any actual face mask. So I made one with a handkerchief, which you should do with a sock, handkerchief, something, you know. Because these chemicals, this thing says, can expose you to chemicals including titanium. Hold on, let me see. It's not focusing. Titanium dioxide and... Ethylene glycol, which are known to the state of California to cause cancer. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the duties. I am putting my handkerchief around my face. Let me position my tripod correctly because it's acting up. Okay. So, yeah. You see, bleach don't just work with everything. You know, sis? Some things you got to refurbish. So, we going to see how this goes. I've never done this before. You gotta shake it up. Don't let it get on your skin. Definitely, this is not a tutorial. We just going with the flow around here. So, do I squeeze it? Look what I do. Oh, that's coming off. So, I guess that can come off to make some. This must have been some old grout. Oh, shit. I might be on to something. Hold on. Oh, I don't think it's supposed to get on the towel, sis. Uh oh. Oh no! Some things just look easier just by looking at it until you get 
knee deep in it and you're like, why did I start this project? Five minutes into this project and I was like regretting starting it. It just wasn't coming out. It was just too much to squeeze it on. It looked easy, but I think it's, it would have been easier if I was dealing with a flat surface. Hey. Yeah, so at this point I came out of the tub and I just went back to saging because the chemical is a bit strong. So I found a face mask. Instead of using my handkerchief, I found some face masks. So I am going to get back to it. Oh, and my bae told me I should use alcohol before, hold on, before I put the, the, um, before I put the coat down, I should use alcohol. I need a towel. One second. So, okay, back to it. Back and I'm better. I got an old pillowcase versus using all the paper towels in the house. Who wants to do that? So I'm just going to, oh shoot, old knee, old knee, oh, I think I made a boo-boo right here. Okay, that comes off. So we just, I think I should have put something down. My knee is really hurting. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sit in this position too long. Okay. Nothing is coming out at the moment. I don't know. I don't know. Did I let it get dry? Hold on. Let me see. No, it's coming out on my hand. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. It's coming out. The towels that go across, it's kind of awkward to do. I don't know, should I use a tool? Because it's, it's really not filling the holes. The ones that go across, like, should I dab it in there? I don't know, sis. I don't know. So you just want to wipe the ones, the excess that gets on the tile off, I guess. This is a lot of work. I don't know who sent me to do this. You know what? Oh, my knee. It really hurts. Okay, 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 right now. I did something to my knee, and this is not going in the tile. Like, I'm gonna have to get a tool. Did it get on me? Okay, I'm gonna have to get a tool that goes in side of this because it's not even it's really not I don't know what it's not going in the cracks and that's what I got it for to fill the cracks so the cracks wouldn't be black I don't know what's going on those are all cracks cracks crack that's really the tape but anyway, I'm going to probably wait till Bay gets back <laughs> and let him deal with this. You know, because I tried. You can't say your girl didn't try. That's <laughs> some things in life is just not for you. Yeah. Okay. Some things in life is just not for us. Y'all used to, y'all who watch Home Improvement, you remember the guy who used to be behind the fence? <laughs> what was that man's name? Who was behind the fence? He used to always talk to Tim. Damn. Anyway, I can't remember getting a little old, you know. Excuse me. But, that brings me to the topic, sis. Never be too self in what's the word I'm looking for? Insecure self-conscious, too concerned about refurbishing yourself. 
you know, one day you this way, the next day you that way because you feel like it. Don't, as long as it's because you feel like it, sis, it's cool. Don't worry about what people are saying. They're going to say things about you anyway. You know, they're going to find things to say about you anyway. Ain't that funny? People won't take the time to pray for you, but they'll take the time to find things about you. <laughs> anyway. That's why the word tells us lean not to our own understanding. Because some things we just don't understand. It's not for us to understand. You know? So, some things you just got to light a white candle and catch a zen to. Because if you try to understand everything and everybody you come across with, you, you, you might be, you know, seeking help. <laughs> Can't try to figure out everybody. <laughs> but anywho... Ain't it crazy how you can buy air in the can? This is just air in the can. So, if you ever was thinking your dreams or the new you or their dream relationship, whatever, may not come to pass because of the circumstances and situations you've been through and the things you see around you, don't be deterred. Don't be discouraged. Continue to push truth. Make, make sure you have a vision board. And make sure you have good people around you. And if you can't find good people to encourage you, then cut people off and still wait on what you need. <laughs> that was some messed up advice, right? But today's all about refurbishing. You see, I just tried to refurbish the tub. And I heard something on the roof. You know the window open. Baby. But anyway, so the tub thing didn't work. I don't know, should I still even be in here inhaling this? Wow. It's, I don't even think it's dry yet, you know. And I'm kind of hungry. So, yeah, I'm just going to let him see that I attempted. <laughs> you know, first you don't succeed. Hey, I mean, I'm going to find another project to do around the house. So, this is Anyway, but definitely refurbishing things and people sometimes, it don't hurt. You know, I think we just got out of retrograde, Mercury retrograde, or we're in Mercury retrograde. I can't keep up sometimes, you know, but Mercury is all about com communication. I could have swear we was just in Mercury retrograde a couple months ago, but I guess Mercury just be acting up. So communication and things from the past, and you have to be in discernment. Always ask for discernment. We pray for everything, all the lavish things and everything, money and bills and whatever, you know, the mundane things all the time. Definitely don't forget to ask for discernment so you can see the true energy of those people and situations around you. Ask for understanding. Ask for the eyes of the most high. Ask for clarity, you know, sis. But anywho, back to my refurbishing. You know, everything is not meant to be refurbished. You know, we all know that. I'm learning that. But definitely, don't don't be scared to refurbish yourself. Don't be scared to find new things that you like. Find a hobby. Don't just be dedicated to the people's job and your whole life is going to that. You, you, what, what, what do you like to do? What do you do for fun? You know, so are you living or are you just getting by? You know, I want to live. I don't want nobody's job to have me tied down. Say what you want. I don't give a damn. You know, <laughs> I will be working hard at whatever, you know, employment I may be, whether it's for myself or whoever. But, you know, that's another day, another topic, another video. But definitely keep that balance, you know. Definitely what I'm trying to learn and stay focused on is the balance of physical and spiritual enjoy this ascend this if no nobody told me the road would be easy you know so <laughs> but definitely stay uplifted stay encouraged and you know refurbish some things sometimes find a project to keep your mind occupied if you're bored and be happy in the in the, in the waiting room you know sometimes your life feel like you're in the waiting room sometimes you feel like you're on a bench you ain't in the game yet you still got to be grateful that you can even see the game you even be grateful that you can even smell the greatness of the other players of yourself but be grateful for something because 
that brings more to you. So as I remind myself and try to stay focused myself in these energies and balancing my scales out here, you know, I want to encourage you, someone, if not one, if two, whoever, you know, to be encouraged, uplifted, have fun in the waiting room, you know, on the bench. You feel like things ain't popping off for you. Like, don't let no one discourage you. Don't be around energy just because you're comfortable or you're used to them or you have history. They're not uplifting you in the waiting room. What they are, what, what are they, what is their purpose? Are you their host or they're just hosting off your energy, your greatness, your life? People like that are dim you. You got to learn how to let some things go. An empty ship with just you is better than a ship with people causing holes in it. <laughs> Anywho, have a good day. Enjoy yourself and always stay uplifted. It's good to cry a little, little bit. It's good to cry a little bit and let some things out. You know, it's good to get into your emotion. It's good to go down in the basement of your soul and just, whoo, whoopsie. But don't stay there. You know, make sure you just don't stay there. <laughs> I'll be back with something else that I'm refurbishing because I'm bored and I need something to do. Oh, so, adios.